Hello and welcome back to the Batty Corvette Repair Channel. My name is Brian Thompson. Today we're taking you along with us while we're troubleshooting actual customer jobs. This comes from Danny M. from Iowa. Danny says uh, his RPM gauge is intermittent. His turn signal left does not light up. And a while ago, the cluster went all dark. It's currently working now. And when we plug it in, what we see is see issues with the tachometer LCD. This segment is not lighting up when it should. It is properly measuring speed and tach signals. The LCDs are entirely readable, so I don't see signs of polarizing film fade. We'll take a look at the instrument panel with the key off. What we see is that all three LCDs are black. We do see some signs of the uh, filter and unleaded fuel only and fuel markings, but uh, that's perfectly normal. That is not a sign of faded polarizing film. What we're gonna see for the first two seconds after we turn the key on is that it does a self-test and lights up all segments. It is not lighting up that segment. We may have a problem with dirt on the LCD panel. We may have a problem with the LCD panel itself, but otherwise it appears to be working. Now, he also says that uh, his left turn signal isn't lighting up. So we're gonna check for intermittent operation of this uh, left turn signal bulb. Daniel also mentions that uh, the cluster went dark a while ago and now it's working. So that tells me we've got some intermittent operation that we need to identify. I've taken the back off the cluster. We're gonna go ahead and just push on the power supply. I don't see any, any intermittent operation so far. We're gonna push on the 12 pin connector set. Again, we're looking for intermittent operation. We we'll bump it on the bench. So far it looks stable. Let's take a look at the circuit boards. Okay, wiggling the bulb does appear to be the problem here. The bulb isn't bad, but we've got a, we've got a connection issue with the socket. All right, at first look, I'm not seeing any melting of the 12 pin connector set. I'm not seeing any leaking of the capacitors on this power supply, but I am seeing that this is a, a factory power supply. I always recommend that if we're gonna keep the car for any length of time, we go ahead and replace the power supply proactively. Uh, these are failing at alarming rates. Replacing the power supply and, and rebuilding the backlight circuitry will probably give a cluster another 25 to 30 years worth of life. Here we see the back side of the bottom circuit board. In particular, we're looking at the solder joints on this uh, 12 pin connector. I think we found the reason that uh, he's having intermittent operation. If we look at the solder joints, we see definite cold solder joints. Here we see the post completely breaking away from the, uh, the solder on the bottom board. That's gonna be the reason that we have intermittent operation. Replacing the 12 pin connector set is the most common repair that we see. At the same time we do that, we're going to replace the photo cell and we're gonna replace all four of the uh, factory illumination bulbs. We'll also replace the turn signal bulbs because he's having problems here. I don't see any corrosion on the bottom circuit board. It's otherwise in good condition. We're uh, taking a look at the tack panel. What we see is a huge amount of silicon oil around the outside edges. This might be the reason that we're having connectivity problems with the segments in the tack. Put it back together and see if uh, that LCD panel is working. The missing segment is now working as it should. 